Sunday live stream. I'm so excited to work on this one. This is going to be fun. And today I am hopefully going to finish. Hmm, we'll see. Uh, the colors on this Lady Death commission. So this is essentially an homage commission to one that I did six years ago in 2014. Um, and the person who gave me this blank asked me to redo that commission. Um, so that's what I'm working on now. And I've made some adjustments so that it's a little bit different. And I think I'm going to um, film it. So hold please wrong button so I'll do a time lapse so that I can post it later for more social media <laughs> I don't really want it in the way of what we're trying to accomplish but I'm gonna try to have it filming from the side go Paul hello your phone is too soft again that's so weird I don't know what is happening Jeff hi welcome Kylie good morning <laughs> must be hot or muggy yes it, it is warming up again here so this coming week is going to be another heat wave for Canada uh, so it's gonna be nice and hot Hello, Miguel in Texas. Welcome, Mr. E. Hi. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and start filming, or I will forget, which is typical me. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it wasn't, it was to everybody. <laughs> um, it was, uh, hello, Neil. It was not an attack on you, Kylie. It's every, see, 45C right now is what Mr. E says. Everyone tells me how much hotter it is where they live. And they're right. Canada is not a, a hot place, but for me, it is. <laughs> Anthony, Jason, hello. Domi, hello. <laughs> You like the Canadian tan. <laughs> nice. Paul, hi. Thank you so, so much. Corey, welcome. Ronald, welcome, welcome, everyone. So if you want, you can search. Uh, let me see if I can find it on the Google. Mm, Don McPeg. How do you spell my name? Lady Death Blank. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, images. Yes, it's the first one. If you search Google for Don McTagg Lady Death Blank, it's the first blank, at least on my Google, that shows up. Um, and this is the one that I am redoing, though I am changing some things because, you know, it's essentially a competition with my past self and I want to crush her. <laughs> Christy, hello. <laughs> Good evening, Rob. Good, e oh, hello, Philip. Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining in. I hope that you've had a good weekend so far. Uh, I did, I finished the Wonder Woman, except I realized that I forgot something. I forgot to do the uh, silver on her skirt so i need to do that it's showing up a little bit dark but anyway this is this is where she's at lay finished jason r thank you and wayne i think i saw a chat from you welcome to the stream oh yes there's wayne <laughs> hello Christian Patsy, thank you. All right, so this is the Wonder Woman. She is complete. And now I'm going to carry on with the Lady Death. Mana, he hello and welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining. Happy Sunday, if it's Sunday for you. <laughs> 
may not be. Oh, thank you so much, Rob. Yay. Thank you, Russell Allen. That means a ton. I really appreciate it. So in the end, what I did is I added some, here, I'll get it back. I added some white gouache. So everything else that I did was the same as you guys saw. I just kind of added a little bit more contrast. You know what? I'm going to turn this off and move it away because it's creating the, the, there we go. So here she is. Lay Wonder Woman. And then I added some gouache paint and just kind of smooshed it around with my finger to make this leg go further back into the background. Um, and then this one, I didn't paint the red all the way through. So it just kind of goes to an orange down at the bottom. Um, and then again, I just took some gouache and smushed it around with my finger to give it some texture. Um, so yeah, she is complete and scanned, except I forgot to do the silver on her skirt. She has like a little trim of silver, uh, and I forgot to do that. <laughs> What's squash? <laughs> gouache. It is a type of paint. I'll show you. So I mixed, I don't have very many gouache colors. I have white, yellow, and blue, and red. So I just mixed together yellow, red, and white to make um, these colors. And then at the end, I did the splatter in just pure white. Yes, both leg guards were shown before, Paul. But what I did is I put some gouache paint. You can see a little bit of one right there, but I wanted to drop that leg behind. So I put the back leg a little bit more in the mist and stuff that's happening and then left this one more clear because it's coming towards us. Hello, Michael Curtis. Is anybody else having trouble hearing me or is it just Paul? Anyway. This is finished. I will be packing it up tomorrow and mailing it out to her very patient owner. So everybody else is having an easy time hearing me. <laughs> Decreasing focus on the back leg, presumably to draw more focus to the boobies. <laughs> Always. Thank you, Joseph. Okay, so I'm just putting away my gouache. And it is Lady Death time. So um, what you guys are seeing color-wise right now is pretty much the flat. It's just flat color that I put in there. Um, so the just to start planning out the colors and save some time so that I'm not just filling stuff in with you guys. Okay, so it seems like everyone else can hear Paul. I'm super sorry. Okay, so I'm ready to time lapse when it's time to time lapse. <laughs> Thank you, Joseph. I'm doing great, Keeman. How are you? So for the background on this one, I would very much like to not do the colors that I did in 2014. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and I'm going to do more of a red-black smoosh in the background. So let's go ahead and start filming. So my plan, the way that I do Lady Death red um, so for these little parts, I didn't do this, and her lips, I didn't. But for the rest, I always start with prawn. So it's uh, R24. It's a little bit more of a yellow tone um, because Lady Death's red, and they have like a standard Lady Death red. It has a bit more of a yellow in it as opposed to a, you know, extremely bluish blood red. It's a little less vampire red and a little more... I'm not sure how to exactly describe it. 
but it's a little bit more in the um, in the orangey reds as opposed to the bluish reds. Tom, hello, welcome to the stream. Thank you and thank you again so much from the very bottom of my heart for the amazing review that you guys gave Divinica. I cannot thank you enough. That made my year. <laughs> and you guys, I love your channel and your live streams and everything that you do. Everyone on Twitch and Facebook, if you haven't followed Comic Tom 101 on YouTube, you should. They are incredible. They have so many amazing shows and features and they are so worth watching. Is that Wonder Woman for sale? I'm sorry, Nick. No, it's not. What it is, is it's a commission for someone on my wait list who's been waiting since 2017. Yes, bad dawn. <laughs> German Andres, thank you so much. Arnav, welcome. James Whalen, thank you so much for your order. You are really a rock star. Thank you so much. And Paul, I know Paul also did an order. Thank you. Nick, thank you. Okay. Oh, you were looking for top. No, it's Tom Garcia who is Comic Tom 101. So cool. You subscribed on YouTube. Rob, thank you. <laughs> okay, I know that there's Strahand. I know you have a, a name you told me to call you by. I can't remember what it was. Kevin Jackson, Wit, welcome, John. Okay, thank you. All right, so I have to paint around Lady Death's <laughs> hair. Super annoying. I knew that that was going to be annoying, and I did it anyway. Because sometimes I just really need to check myself before I wreck myself. Really tall. Hello and welcome. Is the, the, the shadow that my my phone is casting. Is that driving anybody nuts? Thank you, Eric Digman. I don't Nick Foldvik. I'm so sorry. Right now I am trying to catch up on my wait list so I don't have anything. So this is the base tone red that I use, and then I'm gonna be going in with an actual strong red is what it's called. It's very, it's got more blue in it, um, and that is gonna be kind of the, um, that's gonna be more in the shadows, and pretty much all over. I just feel that in order to do Lady Death's red properly, I need to do an underpaint of a more orangey red. So that's what I'm doing right now is essentially the underpaint. You guys don't see any shadows. Wonderful. Thank you, Labyrinth, and hello. <laughs> you need to define nuts for this group. <laughs> Three more prints. I know, James. I saw your order and I was like, oh my God, dude, that's so awesome. Thank you. <laughs> You see no shadow, only boobies. I like you, Rob. You're honest. <laughs> Dave C., hello. Yeah, underpainting is such a vital skill, Kylie.
So I'm still kind of kicking around the background color for this. And I didn't do any of the shadows and highlights in the gold yet. Um, and I will do that today. And guys, don't even like try to figure out if there's any rhyme or reason to the crown on her head. There's not. I've confirmed. It is just Dawn nonsense. <laughs> Sorry, Paul. Such a bummer. Stever, hello. Well, this is new. You're on Facebook. What is happening? This needs to be a print for sale. How do we convince Brian? Aw, oh, really tall. Thank you. Um, I will scan it once I'm done with it. And I always send any commissions that I'm able to scan, I do. And I send them to Brian. It's up to him whether he uses it or not. Um, but yes, I always do send it to him. And then I guess you can post on Sworn uh, Nation. They have a Facebook group. You can always start a petition if you feel like it but you know <laughs> it's really at the end of the day very much up to the creator of the character thank you victor robert hello juan solo yay one banana too far i love your name that's hilarious um this looks so good. I just put my Cintiq aside, but now I want to continue drawing. Good, you shouldn't give up. Oh, wow, happy birthday to Kale and Sarah. That's amazing, 16, woohoo. I'm trying to decide where I should, um, where the cape should turn black. So I'm still thinking about that. Jeff, thank you so much. Yay. I really like giving Lady Death a fuck ton of makeup. So, you know, in case anyone hasn't noticed already, I mean, she'll have makeup going all the way up like into her eyebrow and then beyond her eyebrow and all the way up in her forehead. I really go to town. <laughs> oh, I see. You're not giving up. It's just 1 a.m. Thought I'd watch others draw instead. Oh, that's awesome one, Banana. Acorn, hello. Todd, hello and welcome to the stream. 109. Sorry, Labrys. And of course, <laughs> Mr. E, Tom, and Philip are the ones that can pretty much one-up all of us whenever we try to complain about the heat. And they're like, ah, oh, got you. <laughs> and made it so that you are absolutely not able to uh, complain. <laughs> I tried complaining. It didn't work.
Uh, Rob, did you get it? Uh, you got it. 85. Oh, boy. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. Oh, Kylie says it's winter here right now. Otherwise, I'd give them a run for their money. True, true. And for anyone who doesn't know, Kylie lives in Australia. <laughs> Wayne, <clears throat> can't complain with the AC on. Huh. <laughs> It doesn't count. They never leave the house. <laughs> That's Juan. Just bring in the honesty beat down. Dan Stockwell. Hello. Welcome. Alrighty. What I'm hoping to do is to not even color Lady Death's hair. Just leave it almost completely white. So I've done just a little bit of sh drop shadow from some of the elements that are around her. But if I can, I want to leave her hair completely white. Devin, hello! All right. <laughs> yes, there is more red to do. So her shoulder thingy is red. I'm looking for the blank that I did just to see kind of what colors I did before. I may not obey myself. Oh, thank you, Labrys. Adobe, hello. Kevin, welcome to the stream. Sergio, thank you. So this paper does um, bleed a little bit. So if I put a little bit of Copic down, it'll spread. So I have to kind of watch out. It was very difficult to do her lip color because it just kept spreading. <laughs> Louie, hello, thank you. Shoulder pad, what did I say instead? Stever, you return to your normal place. Hi. <laughs> I am I am pretty used to it. That's true, uh, Kylie. But it's not something I expected. So when I first started, I was like, "Oh, whoa! I better better watch out." So now I'm using strong red and it's it's the 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 really <laughs> amazing red. But I just feel that uh, the whenever I work on Lady Death or kind of any real reds that I'm trying to do, I do this prawn color first. It's R24 because it just works nicely as a bit of a highlight tone and it warms up the um, the red that I'm going to place down. So I always use uh, the prawn color first.
Oh, really? Twitch provides a larger video on the phone than Facebook Live. That's interesting. Jeffrey, hello. Okay, now to paint around the hair. If I end up making a mistake and somehow accidentally getting some red into the hair color, I do have my trusty little cheat, which is uh, I can go back over it with paint. Um, but the paint is never as white as white paper. Um, any white paint, at least that I've managed to find and use, has more yellow in it than the paper does. So it'll look weird and like a yellow splotch in her hair. So I'm gonna try my best to not fuck this up. So I don't know if you guys can see, it's changing the tone of the red a little bit and it's giving it more of a blue undertone. Where are the rest of my reds? Okay, and then I use uh, a color called Garnet. It is R39 and dark red R89. And those, these are like my four trusty reds. I always use them. Cool, Konami. All right, so now I'm using Garnet. That's sort of the, the shadow tone. And as always, I have the light source more or less coming from the upper left hand side of the page. All right, and then I'm taking R46, which is the strong red tone, and I'm just adding a little bit more, and I'm blending out the edges of that more um, garnet color. And then I'm blending a little bit more with the orangey tone one that's called Prawn, it's R24. And then you have a decent um, shaded red. What colors would I use for blood, like a pool of it? Honestly, Kylie, I would still use these four. Um, because the, um, this, the prawn tone, you're not necessarily going to see it. Um, so you would just... It works as a really nice base to get the, the paper saturated and then help the R46 have more of a rich tone without having to go dark immediately. Um, so I would say that I would use these as well. How long do you wait for Copic to dry? Copic dries instantly. I'd say the main difficulty with working with Copic marker is that it dries so fast. So it is immediate. Uh, Copic marker has an alcohol base in the ink and as such, it just evaporates right away. Because I've got the um, 
the light source coming from the upper left hand side, I am going to have some light hitting this um, cloth right here. Oh, okay, Kylie. Then I would just go darker. So like use um, Garnet and um, use 89 and 39 or something. Sorry, I didn't catch that with the character having red skin. Okay, so now um, there's a pretty strong line right here where the the dark, well, the regular red meets this prawn color. So I'm just going over where they meet to blend it a little bit and soften it up like that. And just the more times you go, you do passes over Copic marker, the more saturated the color looks. So I find that really. Um, helpful especially with reds like you just you want I personally like it when the reds have a good punch to them what am I drinking oh my coffee Jason uh mana I have never used chart pack markers so I don't know Okay, now I'm going to use Garnet. Since where she, where her body would be casting the shadow is going to be very dark like this. And um, I did her skin tone first um, because there's so many dark colors going over her and our, all the details are such dark colors. Um, if I had done the skin last in this case, what would have happened is I would have accidentally started to pull some of the blacks and reds into her skin. And of course, you don't want that with Lady Death, who's supposed to be like deathly pale, white, white skin. Um, so that's why I did her skin first and then started laying, layering on all of the colors. Um, when I'm working with watercolor or something like that or digitally coloring, I prefer to do the background first and work from back to front. Um, but in this case, because of her hair and her skin tone, I have to do the, um, it kind of backwards. Oh no, Kylie. <laughs> You're going to do amazing. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of red down here too, just because her thigh would actually be casting a little bit of a shadow. Not much actually, because the light is coming up from above. Um, but I still feel that these folds in the cloth would have some shadow to them like that maybe all right I still have not done this side and um, because this side is really behind her and in uh, in the darkest area because the light source is here so it, it will reach over there a little bit better than it'll reach back here that is under her cape and hair and arm and everything like that so that is going to be really dark Justin, oh my goodness, hello. Oh, you're you're a tea man, Jason. <laughs> hello, Xavier. Okay, so I'm going to ooh, I already did the red. Yay me! Alright, Garnet it is. This is R39. So I've bought a bunch of different of different um sort of wine colored um, reds and in my opinion 
it, this one is the best one. And it's not even so much the color itself that is the best, but how it works with the other reds that I have. And it's very interesting the way Copic works. Just some colors, even though they appear that they're so close in tone that they'll look really nice together, something about them will kind of, when you mix the two together, you get this like blotchy, muddy mess. So, um, I highly recommend these four if you're going to be getting any reds for, um, I guess, mostly comic art or whatever it is you do and you need a really strong, punchy blood red, these four. And for me, uh, for a little while when I was working, when I was doing these reds and kind of coming up with my colors, um, one main thought came to me. It was like, well, if I'm going to be putting down the darkest color at the end of all of this, why don't I just start with the darkest color and save myself some ink? But it doesn't look the same. You need those underpaint colors. Oh, that is so awesome, Mana. Thank you. Yay, thank you, German Andres. That's a good question, Jay Allen. Um, one thing that I'm going to be starting on is um, I'm going to be doing some of the um, Divinica head sketches. So they're like watercolor paints. Um, I can show you what they're like in a minute. Um, so yeah, they're kind of splashy watercolor paints and they're going to be part of the Kickstarter add-ons. Um, for the Divinica art book. So I'm going to be working on those a lot. Um, and then I'm, I've got another project in the works. I just don't know if I have permission to talk about it. <laughs> I need to check. <laughs>
thank you, Christian. Oh, I won't forget the Dan's apartment one. <laughs> Not at all. I'm pretty sure we're saving that as a cover for issue six. So I just need to draw issue six. And so I've just got a few other cover projects I need to wrap up. Um, and I will be working on the, oh, actually one thing I am gonna be doing is I'm gonna be working on the art book cover. So that's something I need to get started on soon as well. Whoop, whoop. All right, I think that's dark enough. Maybe I'll put a little bit of those tones over here too, just so that there's enough shadow going on. Issue six has been confirmed, yes. Any possibility of working with Jim Ballon or Holly G? Not in the works at the moment, Jeffrey. Okay. Now I need to need some shadow up here and then I'll start working on the black part of the cape and actually this thing across here is red so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in and the stones are red Thank you, Anthony. <laughs> that would be funny, Justin. Ramsey. Okay, let's get some garnet on here. early birthday Xavier uh, what are you working on that day I'm not entirely sure <laughs> okay I need toner gray number six and that's right here so I start with toner gray number six and then I add like a nine 
to the shadow areas and then um, I'm going to go in and put some white colored pencil and that does the highlights. So the outside of Lady Death's cape is black. The inside is white. I mean, white, red. So um, I've done the exterior, the interior of her cape, and now I just need to do the black part on top. And then it's kind of disappearing into her hair here. Now, I'm not sure if I want to add a bit more of the red part of the cape here, or if I want to leave it like that. So I'm not going to finish out all of this, actually, because I am still thinking, and I don't want to rush it and then, like, screw something up. <clears throat> And for some of these things, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna be putting like some gold trim and stuff on them once I um, once I'm done with everything. I'll go in with some metallic gold and give it some pops of funsies. And also, it can then sit on top of the um, it can sit on top of all the black and dark colors that I'm using. Um, so that's what makes metallics so very handy is they're opaque and so I can go, go over whatever I need to go over um, and it works.
Thank you, Anthony. <clears throat> okay, I'm almost done filling in most of the black areas, and then I need to start doing some of the like highlights and shines and all of that stuff. And that's when things get fun. I don't know if I want to do this one black. I'm thinking about it. Okay. Oh right, this is red. The um the uh the detailing on this is red and then the actual um plate is black. So I still need to do that. Damn it. And then she has a bunch of chains and things that are coming off from, from her here and here and then a bunch on her thighs and everything like that. And those, I didn't even bother to draw or ink. I'm just going to wing those with um, metallic paint. Oh, thank you so much, David Hawk. Okay, Mana, sorry, I missed your question. Um, yeah, some of these are older tips. I did put a new one on the red today. Um, it's, it just depends. I don't like replacing them all that often because, you know, that's... I, I try to use them until I can't use them anymore. Um, so once the, the tips start to grow their own little goatee, <laughs> then I, I replace them. How long does it take me to do the drawing and inking? I don't know, um, German. I don't, I don't count the time. And some pieces go quickly because, you know, it's, I'm having a good artist day and some pieces go very slowly because I'm having a bad artist day. <laughs> so I don't, I don't time them. Yeah, sometimes you need precision. Oh, nice, Rob. Because this is a bit more of a prominent spot, um, I am doing the underpaint with the um, more orangey red. And I don't have to be super careful in staying in the lines right now because anywhere I go outside the lines is going to be covered with black. But when I put down the, um, the dark gray in here, I better be careful or I could completely ruin the detail. Hello, the Shrelax. <laughs> I 
Can my husband draw? Um, <laughs> he does some amazing stick figures that he's very proud of. Rob, hello, welcome to the stream. Chicago, it's a different Rob. He's on Facebook. <laughs> All right, and I still need to do the wrinkles that she's sitting on. <gasps> oh, that's so awesome, Gabe Lamas. Thank you. Stick figures is a style, Dawn. Don't diss it. <laughs> Fine. Noted, Steve. <laughs> yes, it's a different Rob. I'm gonna need to refill my red soon, which is super annoying. I don't like having to refill my markers. you did with that's so cool you try to stamp You drew and carved it. My daughter immediately wanted it and stamped it on her hand. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, I work in comics, J.D. Smith. <laughs> oh, that's amazing, Mr. E. Thank you, Eric Kaiga. Okay, now I'm going to use some garnet. Gabriel, hello, welcome, happy Sunday.
first bit of advice for those who want to break into comics? That is such a tough question. Um, I guess maybe, uh, do you have someone that you're trying to work for or are you wanting to make your own comic? Because the easiest way to break into comics is to just make your own. This is a sketch cover, Hector. So what I'm doing is I'm actually recreating a sketch cover that I did of Lady Death um, six years ago. Now, I don't generally do recreations. This may be the only one I ever do, um, but it's for a collector and this is really what they wanted, so I'm getting it done. <laughs> Amazing, James. Congratulations. No submissions to the big companies are not a waste of time, JD. I definitely have, you know, sometimes told time to wait longer, you know, you keep working. <laughs> but it's certainly not a waste of time. And exactly how to do that, uh, you just have to go to each respective website and see what their submission process is. Yeah, exactly. The one and only time, Rob. Oh, time is everyone's enemy, Hector. I totally understand that. Well, Jay Allen, you know, there are only so many poses in the world that look good. Um, so it is almost impossible to come up with a completely new pose unless you're going to, like, really contort the character that you're drawing. You know, I mean, it's everything has been drawn <laughs> um so even if you're you have no idea and you've never seen that piece before it's so it like it traumatizes me and keeps me up at night that there is the possibility that like you could have drawn something that's the same as somebody else drew and you've never seen it before you just both came up with the same idea you know and that that happens and so you know it is what it is um I am currently copying myself. Um, and then homages are a kind of cover that is using a, a pose and a whole setup already done by somebody else. And you're kind of recreating it in your own way. Um, and that is called an homage if you credit back. You have to credit back. So like what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do Dawn 2020 after Dawn 2014. <laughs> like if you don't credit back, I mean, that's that's a big no-no. You have to credit back. So if you're drawing something after whoever, you have to put your name after whoever. Did you cover up the title letter? Well, I'm coloring over it, and I did that in other ones before. That's why the blank here, uh, the lettering is light so that you can put your art all the way through. Mm. 
Would I draw this Lady Death in the same kneeling pose again, but not with the same armor and sword design? Most likely not. I think I've, I've done this now. <laughs> but I'm telling you, coming up with a new pose that, you know, you don't remember somebody else already having done, or you haven't seen before, or you haven't drawn before is really hard. I'm telling you, that white paper, when you're looking at it and you're just like, God damn it, I... Oh, and then you think you have an amazing idea and you're like, wait a minute. I think I've seen this before. Shoot, and you have to start over. <laughs> Self-homage, illegal in 38 states, lol. I know, it's so hard. Hello, Snow. What am I doing? Oh, yes. This. Hanging upside down in a bat, yeah. <laughs> if you self-homage yourself too much, <laughs> you'll go blind. Lol. Exactly, Paul. There, there are really only so many, especially with busts. I think with a bust commission, that it's literally anybody's game because you're, you're, it's, it, there's only so many ways that it can all go, you know, <laughs> where it actually looks good. Unless they do something that is like, like this, where like the head is so far back and it looks so completely unattractive, but oh, nobody's done that one. <laughs> Hector, I don't know. I don't um, time myself. Thank you so much, German Andres. All right, so now I'm just trying to blend this a little teeny bit. All right, we're almost done with all the red. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Mubot shot you so hard you had to reload. <laughs> no, you, you definitely didn't, Idea of Evil. Homages are very accepted in the comic book industry. They are done frequently. Um, so, yeah, no, you didn't get him in trouble, I'm sure. <laughs> 
It's 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 basically an artist saying to another artist, "I respect what you did so much that I would like to to draw it in my own style and give you proper nod to you know the fact that you created it first, and and it's a sign of respect." Oh, I totally understand, Hector. I mean, there's so many times where whatever I'm drawing is, dr is driving me crazy too. And I feel like I'm just banging my head against the wall because like something isn't working right. And it just, oh, I, I feel for you, Hector. <laughs> King Sherlock is napping in the tub. He very much enjoys being in sinks and tubs on hot days. I guess because the the porcelain uh, or whatever sinks are made out of is cooler. Thank you, Rob. Yay. And you know what? Sherlock is doing a lot better. Like whatever diet food he's on now, it seems to, um, it seems to be keeping him full for longer. So he's not as ravenously starving. He even has some food left over from the previous meal. So. Um, I guess the vet was right. <laughs> uh, this is the first one I've done, Jay Allen, as far as I'm aware. Okay. What he's saying is that he wants a pool. <laughs> he um, makes such a mess with his water bowls. He splashes in them, washes his paws, like he sticks his paws in his water bowls. I have to clean his water bowls so often just because he bathes himself in his water bowls. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit slow and tedious, everybody, because I, um, I have to go around this very carefully. I know, Konami. I'm working on it. I'm working on being so very servantly. <laughs> I'm on my hands and knees cleaning Sherlock's like paw print messes of, off the entire house. He's a British short hair. Maybe give him some tea and he'll behave, right? He kneads on the tile like he's trying to grapple the tile, then smacks the water like it hurts him. <laughs> I know one time Sherlock fell in a tub. It was a very sad sight. It was funny, but it was sad. I felt really bad for him. It was when Sherlock was younger, like more yeah it was the first year we had him and so our youngest was still you know in the little kid playing with toys in the bathtub stage and Sherlock was kind of walking around the tub and he's usually really good at that um but then he lost his balance and fell right in and it was so funny <laughs> poor Sherlock 
Wow, Kylie, you are a busy girl. Look at all these commissions. Guys, I'm sorry if this part is so very boring. Wow, thank you so much, Mana. I appreciate that a ton. I'm sorry it's so late. Please get some sleep. <laughs> Jay Allen, thank you. You're such a sweetheart. Oh, okay, excellent. Thank you so much, Rob. Thank you, Matthew. So guys, really one of my main jobs right now is um, getting my son ready for university. So there's the whole list of all the things that you're supposed to go with, like laundry and laundry hampers and like a shower caddy and all these kind of things that like he's just never needed and now uh we're getting him ready for all of that so you know all the the student loans grants grades you know all the like technical side of the financial bits and all the like you know applications dan handled all of that and now it's like the the mommy part <laughs> which is all the like you know does he, ha does he know how to fold his laundry? Does he know how to make his bed? He does, I'm so worried that he'll never. But that aside, um, all of these things are the, the, the me parts that I just love. So I'm having the most fun ever. Um, I'm probably becoming extremely annoying for my 18 year old son. Um, but yeah, we're, I'm still working on doing all the preparing. It's a whole new challenge. <laughs> Ha ha ha. 
Does he ha make sure he has beer money and aspirin? Well, he is legal drinking age in Alberta, but not in British Columbia. So he'll be one year too young in British Columbia. So he doesn't need beer money. <laughs> Kara's here. Oh my goodness. Yay. Making the bed is overrated. No, it is not. Not. I know. <laughs> Oh, I know, Steve. I'm very sad about that. <laughs> Hello, Chad Park. <laughs> okay, John. Same with folding. A pile of clothes is fine. Oh, my God. I am way too much of a neat freak for all of this. <laughs> Thank you, Gabriel. So did Kylie say that she is, um, Kylie, are you going to start live streaming? Thank you, Chad. Oh, Mr. E, it was Chad Park is his last name. Sweet, Kylie, that's awesome. We can come raid you. Oh, she does. Yeah, we'll raid Kylie for sure. I know everybody's going to be losing their minds about the accent. That's so great. If Chrome streams, Tom would die.
Thank you, Xavier. Joe, thank you so much. So I just turned off the time lapse and I'm going to start it again because the longer the time lapse is, the like more it like compresses it into like one minute. It's the worst. Hello, welcome to the stream. Uh, Wit, sorry, I just saw your question now. Honestly, I don't watermark my, my work. Um, sure, I've had people uh, use it, sell it at conventions. It happens, you know, but I personally, I post my art. It's not high res. Um, but it's kind of hard to see the art when somebody sticks some giant ass watermark in the middle of it and then kind of what's the point. Um, so I personally don't watermark my work, uh, but it's a, it's a personal choice. It's up to you if you want to watermark yours. Dragon Coda, hello, welcome to the stream. Happy Sunday afternoon, or is it Monday for you? Either way, happy day. <laughs> It's Sunday for you, oh, okay. Saeed, hello and welcome.
So I probably could have just started with nine. So I'm using toner gray number nine right now. But at the same time, it is really nice to kind of have the, um, the ability to give some room for highlights and shadows without just making the whole thing flat black to start with. So um, I'm fine that I am kind of having to do double work here because I think the end result will be a bit better. Dragon Coda, that is amazing of you. I really appreciate it. You had five shots last night? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, thank you, Saeed. Uh, no, I don't think I have Jay Allen. <laughs> no, my pleasure, Wit. Yeah, Kara, how are you doing in the heat, hun? It's 45 in Phoenix. Oh my God. And do you have aircon at your work, Tannis? Yeah, we have dry heat here, so we are pretty lucky about that. I'm 
even though literally none of us are used to this kind of weather. I think over on the east coast of Canada, it's that super muggy, humid heat. Ooh. Are you moving out of Calgary, Tannis? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, living with no AC is rough. That's where we are. <laughs> no AC. Oh, thank you, Roy Rios. So here's a question with all these hockey games, like are the players, I mean, obviously they must be playing, but how are they working that out when like, you know, half the, the NHL is in the U S and half is in Canada. I'm, I'm sure my division isn't correct on that, but like, seriously, how are they doing that? Edmonton hosts the West and another for the East. Oh, I see. They play in Toronto and Edmonton. Your brother knows a few of the guys in the Toronto zone and they're loving this setup royally. Oh, that's great. Well, at least they're happy. The Western teams are playing in Edmonton and the Eastern teams are playing in Toronto. Oh, well, thank you all so much for letting me know. Yeah, I was wondering how this was all working out. As you can see, for a Canadian, I'm quite a fail as far as keeping up on hockey. <laughs> and neither Edmonton or Toronto are in the playoffs. Oh my God, that's bad. <laughs> oh, insult to injury there. Oh, no, no, I do. I'm not keeping up on hockey, but I, I definitely have a team to cheer for. <laughs> and um, I don't think we're super okay with the Bruins because they won over us, I think, at some point <laughs> for the cup. So now I'm going to seem like an idiot now because I don't really remember, but I'll need to turn in my maple leaf. <laughs> so it's essentially an NHL summer camp. That is amazing. Ah, yeah, that does sound like fun. So are US teams there too? So they had to like go early, do their two weeks and the whole thing.
Tucker went home. Who's that? As long as I don't stream on Monday or Wednesday. So that's when the games are, is Monday and Wednesday? They've been there almost two months now. And zero reported Corona cases. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, he's the goalie for Bruins. Okay. <laughs> it's a good enough reason, Steve. I understand for sure. Schedule changes, UBU, we can flex. You're watching the Hawks now. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love this whole setup. I'm sure that the, the players and the families are loving it because they can all be in one place. Hockey's doing it right. That is so interesting. So they're all in Edmonton or Toronto, the entire NHL. <laughs> I completely understand somebody not being at my stream in order to, to watch a hockey game. I, I get it. All is good. Yes, Matthew, that is the game that I'm talking about. It sucked. <laughs> we are a Nux fan family. Do you put a thin board behind to cover or protect inside? No, that's really not an issue, David. Um, for just when it comes to blanks like this, I'm not really worried about the inside. I'm worried about the spine and the back. So that's why I have this paper towel here to try to keep the back of the book from getting too much scuffs. Ooh, Wayne is giving me an update. Uh, Calgary, Dallas are tied. Vancouver can take a 3-0 lead over the Blues tonight. Interesting. Oh, you don't think they were allowed to bring families. Oh, so yeah, okay, that's rough. Thank you, Keeman. I mean, you know, red is an easy win. So I kind of feel like, you know, it's so easy to impress everyone with red that it's kind of a cheat <laughs> for me, but it is her, her color. So, you know, it's all good there, but still, yeah. I mean, the, the way that the red colors work is just so awesome that I feel guilty taking credit for it. The NBA is completely in Orlando. NBA ba babies are getting caught up. It's, oh, they're breaking the bubble protocol. Oops, oops.
Oh, we had to do a 10-day quarantine. Bummer. Oh, interesting, Rob. Okay. If Dan was gone for like more than a few hours, I'm quite a miserable human. So I would, I would have a hard time. Yeah, we know Dawn has never seen a red she didn't love. True, Steve. God, I cannot seem to get the right color. Oh, here it is. I was thinking, wow, this is nice and smooth and easy to work with. The darker the the grays, it, like I guess just it's got more black pigment in it or whatever. Um, they are, they're, their consistency is a little bit jello-y and hard to work with sometimes. And that is definitely the case here. Only the 16 teams that qualify for the playoffs are left in the bubble cities. Okay, so as soon as they are disqualified, they go home. Oh, yes, also very true, Steve, and much junk food would be purchased. <laughs> Speaking of junk food, you guys, um, not to change the subject, because I do want to hear where the Nucks are at as far as the hockey games go, but um, question, guess what I found? <laughs> Cheez-Its. There was like a, a big wall of Cheez-Its at the superstore here in Canada, and they had the spicy ones, the original uh, sharp cheddar ranch, and then sharp white cheddar, and I bought one of each. <laughs> so we're having that for dinner. Whoop, whoop, along with um, hot dogs. Because the last time we had hot dogs, Dan didn't buy enough. So this time he bought twice as much, and we can all eat. Cheez-Its, I'm so happy. <laughs> Kara would help me. Yeah. <laughs> The white cheddar is good. Oh, yay. Oh, really, Konami? The Hawks are holding off elimination in the third period. Are the Nucks playing right now, Wayne? Or who's playing? I miss the Pepper Jack ones, too. <laughs> I'm not fibbing, Mystery. They're here in Canada. Hot dogs and Cheez-Its, I know. Look at me and my classy food, Gabriel. I know. <laughs> Still no peanut butter Cheez-Its, Tom, but I am gonna try them. <laughs> I know, Konami, I'm so very fancy. See you later, Wit. Have a wonderful night. Get some good sleep and have a happy week. What the fuck is 2030? I'm not military. <laughs> I literally, like, when that is, like, like military time or 24-hour time is on, like, my flight, I, every time I have to, like, count back, figure it out, like... Oh, it's so frustrating. Just put the normal time. You want the Canadians to lose? No, Paul. No. I didn't, Tom. <laughs> Dan got himself some, like, normal fancy sausages because, you know, 
he's not a heathen like me that just likes the regular hot dogs. <laughs> Twenty thirty is eight thirty. Okay, thank you, Saeed. All right, now it's time. Let's put some highlights. This like flatness is driving me crazy. That's so much work, Steve. I don't want to. <laughs> Just subtract. Then I have to math, and then I'm like not going to count. Ah, sorry, Tom. You also prefer 12 hour time, but you can translate. Okay. Or add eight to 12. <laughs> oh man, fine. Time to get me some highlights on here. So right now I'm just using a white colored pencil. Um, as you can see, it's running low. Um, and the last few times I've tried to get one at my art store, they don't have them right now, which is a huge big bummer for me. But um, at least I'm going to use it till the last drop. Oh, really? <laughs> well, thank you, Saeed. I know Europeans would be <laughs> bad math. Math bad hurt brain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah! See you later, Xavier. Go Hawks. don't mind the sport talk. Philly, Montreal, and Vegas, Chicago are playing now. Oh, okay. I know, Steve, and I bought a bunch of pencil extenders, and these pencils are too fat. It's just my luck. Hanusol, hello! Your feed crashed. I'm so sorry, Christian. I'm not accepting any commissions right now or remarks or sketches or anything like that. I'm trying to finish um, all the commissions on my wait list. So, 
Tom, I thought that you were a football fan. Or are you football and hockey? Or am I incorrect? Or what are you? Or do you like just all the things? I know, I'm sorry, Kara. <laughs> oh, that is so awesome. Happy birthday to your son, Hanu Sol, and have a wonderful week. Okay, wait, I'm trying to see. I'm a sports fan, especially my Arizona teams. Okay, so you just like all sports. John, hello and welcome. I did not, not Jay Allen. Baseball stadium in Arizona has a pool? What? Kylie's back, hello. No, oh, thank you, Adobe. So I'm using colored pencil for this part because I actually really want it to have a bit more of a um, texture to it. Now it's getting a little bit more depth to it. Here, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit for you guys so you can see. It's got a little bit more um, 
depth in it now that I've given some drop shadows and stuff. Oh, thank you, Kylie. <laughs> oh, I am not nearly that expensive, Jay Allen. <laughs> Oh, okay, Christian, I see. You meant the Harley grenade cover. Yeah, I mean, they're on my website. Um, I don't really know that, that I can, because um, I'm not mailing them out, so I can't guarantee which one you're going to get. So maybe just get one so that you know you're not going to have duplicates. <laughs> see you later, Matthew. Have a wonderful week. Thank you, Steve. They're 3D boobies. It just takes practice, Saeed. Oh, thank you, Rob. I guess that's a compliment to my past self. I think that the, the, the armor, <laughs> literally, what was I thinking? To do this as a commission piece? The fuck? Oh, sorry, Tom, sorry, Tom, sorry, Tom. Are you home, Tom? There is a huge pool behind um, center field. That's great. <laughs> Your goal is two commissions a week. Wow, Kylie, well done. Um, I guess it's the, the kids are in school, right? Just take it easy on yourself too. But that is very respect worthy. Especially because it's not like you're, you're taking on easy commissions or anything. <laughs> Five eleven by seventeens and three eight and a half by eleven elevens. Jesus! And two of those eleven by seventeens are multi characters. Oh my god! <laughs> We're working on it, TV. <laughs> Though it's really not an f bomb. Um, it's not because of the F-bombs. It's, it's, you know, we're still just planning one because we love you guys. Easily forgettable. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Waiting for Vegas to pull the goalie. Poor Vegas, that sucks.
Spawn is your number one. That's so awesome, Chad Park. Candice, hello, long time no see. You've only sat in the pool area once. It's like 200 per person. Jesus. Um, okay, I can't read. It's like super dark words. Oh, deep feels. Uh, no, I have not done a self-portrait. Um, I already don't like it when people think that I drew myself, so I wouldn't, like, intentionally do it. But that's very sweet of you. Oh, okay, they can lose one. Fair enough, mystery. Hello, mister. Are you awake from your nap? I'm getting the Sherlock death stare. Wants to end Chicago postseason. What? These playoffs have been great, especially the five OTs. Nice. How much detail does your work have? Do you use light and shadow references for shading? No, I don't usually, German. Um, and then as far as how much detail does my work have, each piece is kind of different. Uh, I don't really know what to say about that one. Um, what you do would take me a week to finish. Oh, that's so sweet. All right, let's do the gold now. I like gold. All right, so I am going to use two colors. Um, I'm gonna use E55 and E23 to try to get this stuff to look like gold. So I'm doing all the gold pieces. I have not colored this yet and all this stuff because I don't feel like it right now. <laughs> Laziness. Yay, Kylie, that's awesome. So you decided on uh, which iPad? Hawks win. So who's that? That's the, who's the Hawks? <laughs> Who do I, you know, see Dan usually keeps me uh, up to date on all things hockey related, uh, but he's not really watching it right now. No time. Oh, the Blackhawks. Yes, Chicago. Okay, I'm an idiot. I was thinking Hawks, and I... Oh, I'm so ashamed of myself. iPad Pro 11. Windows Surface has jitter issues with the pen and the iPad Pro, but the best color accuracy. Nice. <laughs> Rob's team, yeah. Lol, I know I'm such a fail. 
Okay, I'm gonna take a three minute break. So we're gonna do our concession picture. If anybody has um, anything they need to run and do, I'm gonna let Sherlock go. I think he's trying to leave. Is he trying to leave? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> he's sitting up. Oh, I wish I could show you guys, but I think this one's not gonna, let's see, it's gonna come up upside down, I think. I don't know if you can see him. Do you see him? Yeah, there he is. It's upside down because I have my webcam is upside down. Oh, he just fell over. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's upside down. My webcam is attached to the top of my, um, my desk so that it's not over my shoulder. Uh, and as such, yeah, he flopped over. <laughs> I know. What is this? And he was just sitting there. <laughs> Sorry, I know it was upside down. This is, I don't know how I've got it set up, but yeah, the camera is attached over there. So in order to do that, I had to flip everything. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, two minutes. I'm gonna see if Sherlock wants to leave. Oh wow, that was cold. <laughs> Sorry. Now he's just laying there. I don't know what his plan is. Do you want to go? Do you want to go? No? Maybe? No? All right, I'll be right back. Well, I guess he's not trying to go anywhere. He's just lied down on the floor. <laughs> yes, I want Cheez-Its. <laughs> but my favorite Cheez-Its make your fingers all orange. You know, the, the spicy ones are kind of like you get Cheeto fingers. <laughs> Popcorn check, soda check, hamburger check, hot dog, what the fuck? <laughs> Can I substitute for candy? Yes, you can. <laughs> yeah, it's bathroom break. <laughs> yeah, he's going to wait until, like, as soon as I start drawing again. Um, Sherlock is going to, oh, yeah, where is he? Now he's disappeared. Is he by the door now? Of course he is. Do you want to go? Okay, here. You can go. Want to go? No? Oh. What a ridiculous kitty cat. What color is the padded arm guard going to be? Yeah, I'm trying to decide. <clears throat> Yeah, he, he just went over there and decided to sit down somewhere else because he doesn't want to be near us like a Mino. <laughs> it does count, Wade. <laughs> okay. Gold time! Yay! Uh, it, no, it's not a GoPro Adobe. It's just a Logitech uh, C920, I think. Um, and it is attached to a, uh, a boom arm. 
Um, not a big one, just your regular, typical Amazon one. Here, I'll move it over so you can see a bit more. Mm, there we go. See? It's just your typical boom arm. You clipped the Sherlock appearance? <laughs> the upside down Sherlock? Good times. Nice TV. Yeah, this is the time for everybody to chill. What's a crowler? Joker Nato, hello, how are you doing? Oh, I'm so sorry, Candice. I hope the little one feels better and have a great week. I know, Sherlock does want all the hot dogs. Oh, I'm so excited about the hot dogs. And usually we just do them in the oven, but today our oldest son wants to try his hand at grilling on the barbecue, so that's going to be fancy. It's a 32 ounce can I get from the local brewery. Nice! Oh, thank you, Wayne. I did. Thank you so much for the reminder, though, because I've done that before and straight up forgotten. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going another pass with the yellow to make it nice and vavoom. Voom, vavoom. And I'm still deciding about the background color. <laughs> oh my god. That's going to be a whole thing. do a gray glow? Ooh, that is a good question. Ahsoka's lightsabers are gray. Ah, oh, man. Okay, gray glow. I mean, I guess really you're going to have to handle that with the background color. Um, and I would just um, use cool gray Use cool gray around the lightsaber. Let's see, here we go. Let's try that real quick, Kylie. All right, we're gonna do a quick pause here and we're going to try out this theory for Kylie. Now, Kylie, I haven't looked at what her gray lightsaber looks like, but it would mostly just be the, the absence of it. So like, that would be the lightsaber there the inside part is the lightsaber and then the stuff that's coming out from it would be the glow kind of like that really lightsabers themselves are white and just the only thing that implies the color on the inside is the glow on the outside no don't worry about it kylie that's what we're here for um so I would do something like this and then just have the glow. This is a C double zero, which is pretty much the lightest and clearest. And as this dries, I'm not working on very thick paper. So, you know, it's as it's going, uh, as it's getting um, more saturated, the paper's going see-through. But something kind of like that, I'm guessing. Yeah, and then it's just that on the inside. It would have to go into a dark background to really work. I mean, yeah, probably. The, the best way to do it would be to make the background kind of the same color, right? So if you want it to, like, glow gray, you just use...
a gray, a darker version of that color on the exterior of it. Uh, let's get a C3. I was just using C4, C3, and then let's get to a C2. I may have gone too close with the dark color here, but you get the picture. And then if you need to go back in with white, you can just use like acrylic paint and put some splatter on it. Though really, I mean, the um, lightsabers don't have that kind of texture, but it would be something kind of like this. Again, the real key is just leaving the actual lightsaber itself as the white. <laughs> So something kind of like that. And then if you wanted to lighten it up, since I, I will admit that I went too close with the dark color uh, to the lightsaber, but you know, then you could just darken it up like that. And then what's happening is it's looking like the lightsaber itself is glowing a little bit. Oh my God, too many markers in my hand. Ah. Uh, we could grab a five. Here we go. C5. The darker you go around it, of course, the brighter the, the lightsaber itself looks. C4. Anyway. It's just a suggestion and a thought, and it doesn't have to be the cool grays. You can pretty much accomplish the same thing with the neutrals or the toners or whatever. I don't remember what grays you have, Kylie. Yeah, a gray light is a tough one. <laughs> It'll work great with some white pencil. Yeah, white pencil, uh, if you have some acrylic or whatever you need to kind of get that, that real brilliant pop of white in the center. Cools toner war. Okay, I personally would probably do the cools just so that it's got a little bit of an undertone, but that is entirely up to you and whatever other colors you've got going on. Miss Grayson, is that is that how we pronounce it? <laughs> My pleasure. I'm happy to help, love. Okay, what was I doing on this? Oh yeah, I'm working on the gold. Yeah, I thought so I guess it depends sometimes what her her lightsabers are. Aren't they different sometimes or as she gets older they change color or something? I don't really know very much about Ahsoka, so I apologize in advance to everyone who, you know, is very much a fan of... I haven't seen any of the newer Star Wars things, I'm a fail. They change over time, okay. Okay, so for me, when it comes to trying to paint something gold, I really don't, I don't worry too much about blending. Pretty much the absence of really nicely blended is what makes something look chrome. So you really just want high contrast between shadow areas and highlights. Sometimes they can almost be right up against one another. And that seems to give the illusion of um, something being metallic, which is great. You can just be super fast and lazy. <laughs> I know, sacrilege and shame. I, I, I was very, I'm very into all the other Star Wars, but I haven't really gotten into the new stuff.
Okay, so I was using E55 and now I'm using E23. <laughs> I was one of those that read the books until the new prequels made all of them non-canon. Aw, sorry. Okay, so this is uh, E23. It's like the, the color name is uh, hazelnut. So it's just a really nice uh, soft brown. These are some pretty tiny spaces to try to get much in the way of contrast going on, but I'm going to do my best. So I'll probably end up not getting to the sky today, but that's fine. It's just going to be boring color, like just smooshing something. The Lady Death part is the fun part. What's the base yellow? For this one, Kylie, I used YR31, two coats. Um, sometimes I use Y23, so I kind of flip-flop between the two depending on my mood. Y23 is just a little less saturated, um, so I used Y23 for Wonder Woman, but I, uh, Wonder Woman's gold is not like extremely strong, bright yellow gold. It's a little almost more on the bronzy side, but then desaturated. So that's why I used Y23. Same uh, browns though. Um, and then for this one, I thought I'd, Lady Death has a little bit more of a saturated gold in my opinion, hence YR31. <laughs> Sorry, John Paul. Um, I did scan the inks of this one. In case you decide you want it, I can give you the inks. Like, without all the color on it, so that you can get a, a clean tattoo line. It looks great even without the background. Thank you, Chad. And then once I'm done with the background and, you know, I'm kind of just tying the whole room together, you know, I'll look at all the shadows and highlights and drop shadows and I may add more shadows or adjust the direction of them, you know, as in so much as I'm able with, you know, everything that's already on there. Um, but that's something that I will look at uh, at the very end. And sometimes, you know, with drop shadows, and what a drop shadow is, is like this shadow right here from her boob, or this shadow right here from her hair. Um, those things I will, I do them like a, a rough of them when I'm coloring the skin, but when Copic marker is still wet, it tends to spread, so it's not a very clean line. Um, so I wait until it's dry and then I do a real good sharp clean line because it's not going to spread as much. Um, so I'm, but I'm going to do that at the end once I take a look at everything and decide, okay, should anything change? Should I extend any shadows? Should I, you know, make any adjustments? So, um, I could do it now, but I don't want to just in case something changes by, by the time the whole piece is done.
could, but I don't want to. <laughs> Is that something? Are you quoting back what I what I said? Did I say that? <laughs> Oh, wow. There is some deep Star Wars lore discussions going on here. <laughs> You're such a sweetheart, Kylie. <laughs> I love you. It's such a treat that you get to be here today, Kylie. I can only imagine you have so much of your own work to do. Mr. E, did you, um, did you ever get in touch with the cat's owner? Thank you, Keeman. So I'll finish the Supergirl rough, do the Purgatory rough, and then I have two ready to go. That is really smart. <laughs> that is so cool. Isn't it great when you've got like most of the rough sketches done and then it's just kind of the fun part? I'm sure you are, Kylie. <laughs> I, have, I don't think I've ever done a purgatory commission before, um, but the full red skin has got to be so challenging. Though, frankly, I'd feel more confident Copic coloring a purgatory commission than... Um, digitally coloring. So I think you're good in that it's a Copic commission. On a rocky pedestal with skulls of blood coming out, her perched on top, bloody waterfalls, you know the business as usual. <laughs> yeah, just same old, same old, right? Not at all. That sounds really good, Kylie.
Oh, you're gonna do it on water watercolor paper? Woo! I'm telling you, it saves so much pain in the ass. It's time for deciding on a background color. I might just do like blue, oh, trying to decide if I should do cool gray or if I should make it kind of like a gray and red sky, like a toner gray and red. Cool grays are just boring. <laughs> oh, that's cool, Saeed. <laughs> it really does. I'm with um, <laughs> Kara. That sounds really suggestive. Scott, hello. Welcome to the stream. Happy Sunday evening. Yeah, purple sky is great, and it's a good idea, Jay Allen, but my Copic marker purples are not my favorite, so... Um, yeah, I guess I'm gonna do, like, the... I mean, you know, a red roiling sky is a very Lady Death thing to do. I know, I can't believe I'm considering not doing red either. The hell? <laughs> okay, yes, everybody is voting the flamey, reddish, all that. Hmm. Gosh, I don't know. Maybe I just need to think about it for a little bit longer. I had kind of an orangey brown sky in the last one, and I don't want to do that again because I just don't want to. Also, you know, that's a good point, Kylie. Yeah, it's very true. I agree with Kylie that Lady Death is going to just sink into the background. I know Dan suggested that I do like a purple or a blue sky. Um, so maybe, you know, even though I find cool grays kind of boring, they are, um, they will provide a decent amount of contrast to Lady Death. And then if I feel adventurous, maybe I'll put, I could put some colored pencil like tone in the sky or something like that. I just, I don't wanna do browns um, like at all. Yeah, Steve, something like that. Well, cool grays are like a, they're a bluish gray. So I'll probably do that. And then if I want more, color in it or something like that maybe um i can use some colored pencil to give it some like highlights or something yeah something like that kylie agreed so yeah i'm gonna do cool gray in the sky I'm, i want it to be a pretty dark 
ominous sky and the reason why I want it to be pretty dark is I want Lady Death's hair and everything to really pop out from that. So it's going to be a pretty dark sky. Okay, so I haven't decided, I guess this I'm just going to make it black. So let's get some toner six. But in true me fashion, I made the tie red just to make life really nice and difficult for myself. See you later, James Whalen. Have a good night and a great week. Or do whatever you want. Don't want to tell you. <laughs> That's very sweet, Ky Kylie. I agree with you, though. So, you know. I will do it, I think. Pretty sure. All right, strong red. Um, Jay Allen, I think it, with this one, they left it light so that it's kind of a little bit of both. Um, it really depends on the artist and the, the picture you're going for. Like, um, some, some blanks, the, uh, the title is so strong that you can't really cover it up. Um, and then other times, like here, I believe it is intended for the picture to carry through and there's just a, like, um, little see-through Lady Death um, title there. Um, but I think that on blanks, it's just kind of up to the artist or, you know, the person who's getting the commission what they would like. In other words, I don't think it's disrespectful to, to color in the whole sky. Especially also, if I were to send this to Brian to use, which I plan to, if he wants to, um... I, I will ask him if, if like he wants me to leave the title like this or if it's almost completely covered by whatever I do in the sky, maybe I'll just clone it up. And then he can put a new clean title on there. Oh, that's so sweet, Paul. <laughs> Well, technically all of these are, they come with no background. Um, but if I'm specifically asked to do like cities and buildings or, you know, some kind of giant ass setting, I will definitely charge for it. But if it's just kind of smooshy shit like this, I mean, I'll probably put it in anyway. <laughs> Is the logo on this that muted out? Yes. So it's muted out like that. So like it was blank with just a very light gray lady death on it. Did I sailor win? Tom Durantes is on Facebook. I am shook. What is happening? <gasps> okay. Where was I? What was I doing? I did? Oh. Well, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I did. Oh, yes. Okay, that that makes sense. <laughs> Well, it's so nice to have you on Facebook, Tom. <laughs> Hello, Kpishi. Am I, I'm probably saying your name horribly and I'm super sorry, um, but welcome. 10 minutes, yes, dinner time. It's dinner time! I'm sorry, like, I just love Yzma so much. <laughs> Everything will be an Yzma quote once I'm done with my life. So I've got to get these little pillowy things to look like pillowy things. Not sure we even care that they look like pillowy things, but oh well. Wrong lever! I know! <laughs> she is my favorite forever. Proof that dinosaurs once roamed the earth. <laughs> So much better than dinner time. So probably what I'll do bef when I'm working on this off of stream is I'll just, um, I'll time lapse it as well. And then hopefully I'll be able to put together some halfway decent looking video. We'll see. <laughs> you were thinking other pillowy things. Woo! Okay, it's time for me to start loading up Twitch here on my computer. So, um, it's probably going to lag the stream just a teeny weeny bit. Who am I? Yes, my speakers are off. Um, and we need to decide who we are going to raid. I still have a few more minutes, but, you know. Chad Harden is live. I want to raid Chad. I'm going to check and see. Guys, uh, if you haven't, if you don't know who Chad Harden is, he is the artist for Harley Quinn. So, um, you know, he's an amazing person and such a good artist. So, um, we're going to raid Ch Chad Harden today. Just want to check and make sure he's still live. Everything is good. Yes. He is. Yes. It says he's doing comics. Oh, and Chad Harden is amazing. So we're going to raid Chad for sure. It was a whole stream without a Don rant? Really? I was so good? Oh, I'm not leaving yet, Labyrus. We're gonna, we're, I still have a few more minutes, so we'll go raid Chad in like two minutes. 
For right now, I just want to put down uh, some of the white highlights just to complete this. <laughs> Don't leave everyone. We need to raid Chad. But first, I'm going to do these highlights. You met him at a con once. He is a good guy. Thank you, Keeman. All right, so I'm just gonna do all the little white highlight bits. This is the part that just really ties it all together when it comes to gold. And um, of course, gold is like a little bit of a lighter color compared to everything else. But once the sky is put in, I think the gold is really going to pop. Yep, five minutes. Though I'll probably start the raid pretty soon so that everybody has time to jump in. It always takes a few minutes for the raid to load. So I definitely want to raid Chad. Was the demon face in the crown intentional? 100% yes. That is true, yes. And I always feel so bad when I'm like, peace out as soon as I raid somebody, so yes. This is what it's going to look like with a lot of the, um, here we go, zoom in. There's the white highlights on the, on the gold, and it just makes such a difference. So for this, I'm using a Molotov paint pen. I'll show you guys. Uh, Molot I think it's Molotow, but it looks like Molotov, so. You know, Jay Allen, maybe I will just uh, finish it on the next stream. I just want to make some decisions. So I will need to make some decisions as far as the, um, the sky color. But yeah, I'll do it on stream. I'm upset the banana sword is not yellow. <laughs> oh my god, what's creepy? My, uh, the, the demon head with the, with the horns and the, like, Oh, you want to see me do the background? That's so sweet, you guys. Thank you. Okay, yes, I will save it for the next live stream. Yay, that's fun. Then I have something to do. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go raid Chad. Raid Chad Harden. Okay, please, everybody, come with me and raid Chad. It'll be so much fun. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and as always, I love you all so much. Thank you for hanging out with me on this stream. It has been so much fun. And you guys are the best. And it looks like we're pretty much ready to go. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. Stay safe and healthy. Kylie, I can't wait to see your commissions that you're working on. Much love to everybody. I'll see you next time. Let's go raid Chad. And here we go, raid, 47 of you, woo!